One of the coolest features in iOS 8 is the ability to use custom keyboards and we're going to show you guys how to enable these keyboards in just a few steps. The first thing you're going to do is go to the App Store and download Swift Key or Swipe. We suggest Swift Key since it's free. Once it downloads, you're going to go into your settings, scroll down to General and then Keyboard tap on keyboard and then you're going to add a new keyboard and make sure you give Swift key full access. That'll give you the most features possible. And that's all you got to do. Now the keyboard will be enabled across the entire iPhone. Each different keyboard has a lot of different features so there's different things like swiping and touching on the screen. You never have to lift your finger off the screen to type. It's pretty amazing. Along with better autocorrect, predictive typing, it makes texting so much easier. You could type like the good old days, but swiping around will really improve your text speeds. Customizing your iPhone themes can really make it stand out and look unique. It took me a while to adjust to this swiping feature, but I think I could really get the hang of it. The predictive text really helps you type faster. Many keyboards feature different layouts, so it's going to take a little getting used to of figuring out where certain keys are, the exclamation points, and stuff like that. But once you find your perfect keyboard, you'll feel right at home. The Swipe app features some really cool themes, and it's one of the most popular Android keyboards out there. iPhone users can finally rejoice. You don't need to jailbreak your iPhone now to use Swipe. Now it's pretty easy to switch through your keyboards, you can go through your emoji, go through swipe, swift key, whatever keyboards you have pre-installed can be accessed with one tap. This is just the beginning for custom keyboards and I can't wait to see what the developers make next. If you text a lot of unique words, luckily for you, you could add that word to the dictionary so it suggests it next time in the future, instead of trying to correct you. So that is how you add custom keyboards to iOS 8. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure you click subscribe, watch more Gizmo videos, and we'll see you guys soon. What's your favorite iOS 8 feature? Leave your comment down below or tweet us and we'll retweet our favorite replies.